All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Furious video with Fat Phil. And today, I want to talk about a struggle I've been having on the account. And I'm really wondering if it's time for me to switch my focus away from Grand Arena. So I want to be honest with you guys. I'm going to show you just some of the reasons why and potentially where I would go after Grand Arena. So go ahead, like and subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's give a huge shout out to the channel members for just continuing to support me through thick and thin. Thank you guys again for your continued faith. Thank you for believing in me. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're learning because that's the whole point, right? That you're learning from this experience that your account is growing. Thank you guys again. Let's get in the video here and let's kind of talk about the struggle that I've really been having. All right, guys. So yeah, I've really had a big struggle lately and it's all inside of this mode here, Grand Arena. So I am struggling because I don't know if I want to continue to focus in Grand Arena. I'm going to show you guys some statistics on my Grand Arena wins and losses, kind of talk about, you know, the side of Grand Arena that we all know is there, but really just illustrate how insane it is. So let's uh, flip over here to swago.gg. This is the wrong sheet. There we go. So this is my Grand Arena history page. Overall... I am 35 and 28. If you break that out over the amount of seasons we've had that, you know, that have been tracked in here, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seasons inside of Swago.gg. Over these seven seasons, I am 35 and 28, or a better way to say it is that I've averaged five wins, four losses every single season. That if, like you average that out, five wins, four losses every single season on the dot. And the effort I put in is pretty extensive, right? Like I, you know, it's, it's crazy. And you could say, oh, Phil, well here, you only, you scored 75 points. Like, yep, I did one attack, right? Do you know why I did one attack? It's got 12.8 million galactic power. I just didn't like, I'm not, I just don't, you know, you don't feel like playing that time, but like, that's kind of a forced loss. I could attack all I want. I'm probably not going to score that well. So, you know, there's this air that I'm looking at. And I'm like, man, and like, if you want like the proof, like look, five and four, this one, I went five and four with a loss on a tie, went five and four here. This season, I went, look at this. I went six and three because the previous season I lost on another tie and went four and five. So those two combined five and four on average, right? Five and four, five and four. So I've, you know, obviously been noticing this trend and I've tracked it. I was actually tracking my wins outside of Swago.gg and then they did this update and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And the other thing that you notice that I want to point out is if I was to go in, I'm not going to go into all of these, but if we just go to this past season, right? I showed you this guy was 12.9 million. This was my last opponent, Shadow Shai. He had 12 million. So he was a million galactic power above me. Then we had Giannis here. 13.4 million. And then Darth Muzza here, 13 million. So on average, at bare minimum, every single one of my losses was a million galactic power ahead of me. So you're taking a force loss, right? Like they are forcing you, and I say forcing, but they're giving you greater competition so that way you don't climb indefinitely, right? That way Fat Phil can't go, you know, or, you know, I'm not gonna use myself for this one. That way Zareth, can't go 9-0 and every single season because he's only fighting players who have his same GP. He's got to fight those who have, you know, bigger, better accounts than his. So that way his win-loss ratio, you know, evens out. That's kind of the thought. And because of that, I'm really wondering if I should just kind of back off in Grand Arena and start focusing in other game modes, start investing Omicrons there. And just to kind of show you like what that would look like, if I was to drop down into Kyber 2, this is my, this is your, I created this spreadsheet a long time ago. I will link it in the description in case you're ever curious, but I had made this to prove that, you know, everybody who says you have to focus grand arena, right? That getting first place in fleet arena is still better for you up until the moment that you hit Kyber five. And then grand arena actually has more rewards available to you than fleet arena does. Now this is based on five wins and four losses and going like two and one each week, just to kind of show you the breakout there. Uh, you go two and one, two and one, and then one and two. Um, but that's kind of the, so if I was to drop down to Kyber two, 
I'm going to miss out on a little bit over a thousand crystals a month. Not the worst thing in the world, right? Not great, but not the worst thing in the world. So why I say that is I would be a lot, probably a lot less stressed in Kyber 2, right? That I could probably go and just, you know, it'd probably be a lot more fluctuation over the course of, you know, seasons where I could probably go like seven and two and then just like lose on purpose. You know, like it, it'd be interesting. Um, but I'm wondering if I just kind of slowly start backing off Grand Arena because I know I'm going to go five and four. And if we just compare to my guild here, I'm in the top. I think I'm 11th right now in total skill rating. And um, there's a couple accounts like, you know, Mini Mojo here, really solid in Grand Arena at 11.3 million with, you know, 37.54. That is a very solid Grand Arena score. But if you look like overall in my guild, there's a few guys who are a little bit closer in GP to me, but, you know, competitive, right? I'm a, And I would argue that my account is above where it should be for Grand Arena. That's kind of the argument I would make, especially when I compare to like my average opponent. Um, but I really think that when I see this thousand crystals and I think about the work that I'm putting in and I don't know that the juice is really worth that thousand crystals anymore. Um, particularly, I would say when it comes to me thinking about other game modes that I could potentially be saving myself some time in, right? Um, so I want to flip over to the game and kind of show you a few areas where maybe I could. Um, so one of the big ones, of course, is territory battles. To borrow the classic Agnard's playbook here, he's got a lot of TB Omicrons, and he does this so that way he can press auto. And that would save me a ton of time, right? Being able to auto battles would be a huge benefit to me. Um, you know, so that's, that's always kind of been in the back of my head of like, man, if I invested in some TB Omicrons, I could start autoing battles, and that would save me countless hours in the game. Um, raid, not so much. I'm not going to lie. I'm not interested in raid Omicrons. There's no long-term benefit there for me. But the other area I thought of was, I was like, man, what if I started doing Territory War Omicrons? I do not have many Territory War Omicrons. In fact, I have four. And one of them is on, like, and, you know, one of them is on Captain Phasma, right? So, like, not the greatest in today's game. I've got one of them on Boba Fett Sign of Django, because, like, why not? I have Relic 7. Um not the greatest. And then um, I have two of them on the Jabba team with Skiffguard, Lando, and Embo. So those are my four Territory War Omicrons. I'm an awful guild member. But it it's gotten me really wondering, should I focus more in that game mode? Should I get, should I spend some time doing that? And Number one, I've faced a lot of accounts in Grand Arena. I've lost to some. I've beat others who focus heavily in Territory Wars because they just have a larger account. They've got a large amount of Datacrons. Um, but I think that that could be a good outlet for me to, you know, switch it up a little bit. Start focusing on getting better, you know, Territory Wars, helping my guild out a little bit more. Um, I really think that I have... I'm not going to say hit my peak in GAC yet, because obviously there's still room to go. I still can get Jar Jar. I don't have Afra. You know, there's some characters that I could start working on to potentially make that a reality. Um, but it's more of, is this worth it to me? You know, and it's been a struggle. And I'm not saying, I'm, this is not like a burnout necessarily. More just, I've invested so many Omicrons into Grand Arena, and some of them I'm not using anymore. Or I'm not using you know, CLS regularly or not always using a general Skywalker team because I just am running out of options on offense and I don't want to set too much on defense in case I do come across those big accounts and then I don't even end up playing. Like, so I just, I've really been struggling with that effort I want to put into Grand Arena. And then I have guys like Eggnards who, you know, shout out, man, always come and being like, dude, I just auto TB and I'm like sitting there manually playing through a Dathomir mission because I hate myself. Um, but that's been something that I've been struggling with, guys. And I wanted to share that, kind of share my wins and losses with you because, you know, that's where I am. And I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Like, if I did switch to Territory Wars, would you hate me? Or would you more understand that what I'm trying to do? Um, you know, because part of my avoiding burnout in this, you know, in my videos is always that switch your focus up a little bit. So maybe for a while, I just start going through my account and finding characters like the GOAT, <laughs> where... I can maybe equip an Omicron. And that would definitely be my big, like, that's the one thing I would say is that, like, I'd go after an Admiral Trench lead. I'd go after a Dark Trooper Moth Gideon lead. And then maybe, like, Master Qui-Gon 
with his Territory War Omicron. Um, trying to, you know, maximize the amount of teams that I can create. So that way it's not just like, you know, Baby Cal and Ahsoka Fulcrum, you know, doing something crazy. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Again, hopefully you enjoy me opening up a little bit about my struggles. You know, it's not... I And I haven't really streamed GAC lately just because I haven't, you know, I haven't been streaming a lot at all. And when I do, I try to get the roster reviews in to get, you know, interact with you guys that way. But uh, a lot of my GACs, I've just kind of been playing haphazardly. Like I log on, do a couple battles, do another some here, some there. So um, yeah, it's just been one of those things. So let me know your thoughts. I love you all. May the force be with you. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.